Howdy folks, welcome to episode 56. We're up here at the iron mine because I was putting in the, the which McCallits, the teleporters. Um, so I wanted to show you on the map, what I did was I went back and uh, actually it doesn't show you the trains on the map, but I went back to before we compiled all the trains together and we're back at that state. So I didn't want to have to, you know, drive all them back to where they were before. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, I need to find my player here, but we're gonna go like this. We're gonna try and teleport over to here. Where's the door? There's the door, okay. You can just walk through the door. You don't have to wait for it to open, just pro tip. You don't have to wait, so when you're in here and you, you teleport in here, you don't have to wait for this to open to walk through it. You can just go, watch, you can just go like this. See, you just walk out and you're there. All right, so let me make sure, let's do this too before we, get too far I need to uh, do this thing there we go okay so there is as you can see here there's a new update um, we were on vacation it they put out the new update like five seconds after I left <laughs> so we went on vacation and you know and then I'm like yeah there's a new update so anyway um yeah good we see we still have we still have all the fuel and everything um, but anyway, so yeah, that's why I haven't had the new update yet. And then we got back from vacation and it, you might be able to tell from my voice. I picked up a, we picked all, everybody picked up a cold while we were there. So, um, yeah, it was really fun and all that. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go to the freight depot here. There we go. And we're going to buy a new snow plow because they added the snow plow yeah cool and let's check out the paint and stuff on it Ooh, they got like a red snow plow that's an interesting i like that one i like the wooden thing too that's kind of cool i think we're going to take number four and we're going to take number zero and we're going to call this plow <laughs> very we're very uh creative here today yeah plowy plowy plow face right oh, okay so um <laughs> anyway because you know that one is like yeah let's give them meme names um so anyway we're gonna go like this we're gonna re-rail this and then we're gonna go over to here and we're gonna see if we can it's i'm always disoriented when we come into that thing okay we're gonna see if we can put it this way there we go. All right, and get that up there. There we go, all right. Well, that works. So I was looking at, and this doesn't have any brakes on it. I was checking it out, and it doesn't have any brakes. What was that? What was that right there? What is that? Marker light, oh, marker lights, okay. I didn't notice the marker lights. All right, so anyway, yeah, it didn't, it didn't have any, it doesn't have any brakes. So fortunately, I placed it on a hill. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that, but yeah. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take this up to the top there and load this up with whatchamacallit. So let's take the Mosca here and we're going to go and we're going to go like, we're going to go forward. We're going to give it some gas here. Now they also changed the tract of effort on the, on the Mosca. It is no longer, um, so I might need to bring a second one down here. It's no longer like 17,000, whatever it was. It's now like half of that or something. I, they, they did it pretty significantly here. Um, it used to be like 15 or something like that. Let's see what it is here. Uh, it's coming up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, and oh, they added another thing. Yeah, 8,600. It used to be like seven, 17,000. It was something a lot more. 13,000. But yeah, it's like two thirds of what it used to be at most. But it seems like it's going to work. Okay. Seems like it's going to get us going. So yeah, the snowplow is supposed to allow you, um, it's supposed to increase your top speed. So we're going to check that out. Open controls. 
We're gonna go like this. We're gonna move this out of the way. Let's get this way out of the way. And yeah, we'll go like this. All right, I just want to see what the speed is. Current speed 7.2. Can we? We can't reach that from there. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, the snowplow is supposed to be. It's it clears the tracks. It, I mean, obviously, it's just effects right now. It, there's no actual snow on the tracks or anything. There's no effect of snow buildup or anything yet. But it's a cool effect. It's pretty. Let's make sure uh, we're going to make it past this thing. See if we're going to make it past this. Yeah, yeah, it's not It's not any wider than any of the other cars. Okay, cool. We're going to make it past that. This is so close. All right, and then we need to go through... See, we need to go around this corner, which is going to be the tricky part. So, it's going to be fun. This is the this is the tricky part, is this corner coming up here. And hopefully that's not a rock on the thing, is it? Whoa! It just did that to me again. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is our this is our tricky corner. This is our tricky corner that we need to. That is so weird. All right. Let's see if we can even make it up this. We might not make it around this corner because this is up a hill and stuff. We'll see. Let's see what we get to happen here. But remember, we we rebuilt this and everything, so we're gonna see what happens. We might have to bring in some assistance. Look at the wheels coming off, man. Oh, that is insane. That is totally insane. <laughs> it's working though. They're not flying off the track or anything. It's gonna be fun coming back down because that means that's a pretty significant downhill if we're having that much trouble bringing this up. Okay, so they also added a new engine. We're gonna check that out in a minute, maybe. I might have to wait until next episode. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how long my voice lasts this episode. But, yeah, they're doing a... Um, you can see the groundwork coming out of the side there, too. That's kind of bad. I, you couldn't see it with the grass before, but you can see it with the snow. It's right up there, that little thing. But anyway, yeah, they added a new... Um, what is it? A cook. There's a cook, and it's a... 2-8? Something. I don't know. It's, it's a number and then another number. <laughs> Because that narrows it down. But yeah, it's like it's it, it's got to do. We'll check it out. We'll get up here and and what we're gonna do is maybe we'll use that to pull it back instead of this. We'll trade it for the Mosca. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just give ourselves some money and use the new engine instead. Because we've got like three of these Moscas. We don't need them, especially now that they basically changed the price and ripped us off or changed the value of it. At least I don't know if they actually changed the price or not. I like that the plow is all over the place. That's pretty cool. But we need to try it out on straight. Now the thing is, since they've updated the speed, um, they've let you go faster to the point where they've let you go faster to the point where you can um, run the trains, the these off the rails. You can actually go faster than their the top speed that they're capable of. So that's kind of a problem. Um, why don't we go like this, and then we're going to brake here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a different engine. We're going to buy the other engine and then uh, and then load this up with it, because that way we can, we can practice and stuff like that, right? We can get the, the feel for it. Let's check it out. Um, let's get this underneath here first. I did load up coal in there just so we can do, because I wanted to do a full train of coal and bring it over the mountain. And I didn't want to have to do another like 20 hours of episodes bringing everything the long way around. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We're going to jump out and we're going to go like, well, you know what? Let me see how much money we have. We have 1400 so we're going to have to add some money. We're going to go like this. And let's see which one quarter it's probably gonna be at the very end see the Heisler was 
13. Yeah, so it must have, the Moscow must have been 13 because I don't think the Moscow was more than the highest there was. There's a 260. I think that's the one we had before, wasn't it? Yeah, see, there's a 280. Cool. So, and let me see. Is that everything? Yeah. Oh, the, the that's a tier 6 and this is only a tier 5. Okay, cool. So, this is um, wheel arrangement 13467. Cool. And I'm pretty sure that's the one, 4900. Because that's the one we used to have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to get a 280. We need 40, 4900. So, we got to close out of this. We need to go into here. We need to go cheats and increase money by 4900. Submit. And let's check it out. Close that. Check it out. 63. Okay. So, we're going to go like this locomotives we're gonna go all the way I need to give these names because otherwise they um yeah it's okay number five name five <laughs> and tender five okay we'll just do that I need to give them names otherwise when it saves them it does problems so let's check out the smokestacks too that's a really big one I like that one let's try that one and then headlight I, I like these diagonal ones. They make it, they, it's just like that, the ad where the old guy is like, sees the car crawling through the neighborhood and he's yelling at it to slow down because the car just looks fast. Ooh, silver. I like that. That's kind of cool. What's the difference between those two? Is it the wheels? Oh, yeah, the wheels are silver. Huh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's fancy. Five. What's the difference between five and three? Huh. I don't see the difference between one and five. Oh, it's the stacks. Okay. I kind of like that. I like number four. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to order that. I guess we're paying extra money for those. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to use the teleporter. We're going to go back to the freight depot. And we're going to load up the fuel on this so that it's warming up. There. Let's see. There. We'll get this loaded up and we'll teleport it over there so that we can swap this out for the, whatchamacallit, for the Moscow in a minute. So we're going to re-rail the tender. We're going to map over to here. And then we're going to put the tender here. And it needs to be facing the other way. Get it facing the other way. Facing the other way. There we go. All right. There's one. And then back to the freight depot. It's. It, I swear, it, like, it changes my direction. I don't know if it changes my facing or not. I think it just teleports me. It doesn't change which way I'm facing relative to the... It doesn't redirect my uh, player's facing direction. So here. Whoops. So like I'm facing diagonally here. So if we go like this and we go to the coal mine, we're going to be like diagonal. Yeah, see, we're going to be... Okay. So when you lay down your telegraph offices, lay them down all like facing the same direction or something. Pro tip, right? Okay, we need to reverse that. And that needs to be on here. There. Okay, cool. So then what we can do is we can just back this back up into here. We'll back it back up into there. We'll put the plow on the front and all that stuff. So let's go like this. Rerail this. And go like this whoops I want it that way and we're gonna let it sit like that okay cool and it looks like it's gonna roll that way well that's cool is it gonna because it doesn't have any brakes so I think we'll let it go all the way up there so we can attach it see if we can get it oh now now it's really going 
Okay. That's cool. I, w I was actually kind of worried about that part because now we're on flat ground. Or I thought we were. <laughs> right? Okay. There we go. All right, that's all set up. Is there boiler pressure on here yet? Boiler pressure 30. Yep, we got some. We need. Do we need to turn on the compressor at all? Yes, because it has air brakes. Okay. All right, we're going to let that happen. We're going to fill up this one. And where's our... There we go. Two, three, six, eight. There we go. All right. So we've got our stuff here. Um, I think we're going to be able to move this. And then we can do our thing. Go like this. I think we're going to have to go back to the... Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to go back. I think they've added some friction or something. Because we've had this happen. It's It just comes to a stop when you let off the regulator. And that's been happening with the other thing where it's like I can only pull it at like 8. So yeah, I don't know if there's some friction or if like some of my cars have brakes on that won't turn off or something. I don't know what's going on with that. A little bit more. There we go. And I think that'll do it. Let's see. Because it seems like they just, they want to stop. Alright, so we're going to take this. And then our thing should be good. One, two, five, seven, nine, ten. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to take out this. So let's go like this. Demolish locomotives. We're going to take out this and this because we're trading it and then we need to make sure that that yep and we're going to put a thingy on here all right and then let's put a break on this just so that it doesn't roll backwards when we hit it and then we're going to smash all this together and then we should be good so go like this that's good and here we go all right, so we're going to go reverser. Take off the brakes. And we'll mush all this together. I didn't even look at what the tractive effort is on this. We need to look at that and compare that to the Mosca, right? There we go. Did it get it? I think it got it. All right. So let's go up to here. That should be perfect. Here it comes. There. Nice. Okay, so we want to make sure we put this in forward. Hit the brakes. Let's take the brakes off of this one, too. Before we forget, right? So we're not dragging it along. All right, let's check out the tractive, tractive effort on this. Locomotives. It's all the way at the end. 13,000. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool. That's what the Mosca was, right? So, that works. Alright, so we're going to go like... We're going to use the interface now. We're going to do this thing. Um, <laughs> flat car. Why is it on flat car? Okay, that's funny. All right, let's go like this. Open controls. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Is it not going? There it goes. 
it's got to be at 20% to start moving. That's kind of interesting. All right. Let's see if we can get it moving here. I don't know which way it's going to go around the circle. We'll see. There we go. But yeah, with the, the friction thing, it seems to be... I don't think it's with this update. I was just thinking about that. Somebody's probably going to tell me it may be the snow on the tracks kind of thing or something, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it's been like that for more than just this version. It seemed like it was like that before, too. Because remember, my train was like topping out at 8. 3. 7. 8. 9. Okay. Yeah, the train was topping out at 8, if you recall. And that isn't a... That's not a standard thing. So let's go like this. Let's go... see where the, which way is that one going I think it's going that way yeah it's going around the outside okay cool let's get this moving there we go so the brake pressure is still coming up interesting I can turn the compressor up I mean that's not you know it's not like we need power right now then we can turn it back down. Usually it seemed like it was you only needed about 20% on the compressor in order to get it to... And I don't know if in the game it simulates taking power off of the tractive effort to run the compressor, you know what I mean? I don't know if, if it does that or not. If it even cares. Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 10. Okay. Um, you know what? I just thought of a way to test that, too. I think it would be kind of fun. We might do a, a fun little test about does the compressor do, um, take power from the thing. Because I know, like, the whistle doesn't. It doesn't seem to. But, yeah, we can try something out with that and see if the, if the compressor leaches power from the, uh, you know whatchamacallit, pressure from the from the boiler. Well, our boiler pressure is still at 130. It doesn't go down at all, right? So there's that. I think that it makes it kind of obvious. The other thing is, I don't know how good the brakes are on this. Like, the Mosca had kind of weak brakes. One. Whoops. Two. Five. Eight. It'd be fun to make a, a mouse macro to do that for me, just because. Because <laughs> uh, it's just a timing thing, right? Is that a new whistle, or is that the same whistle that is used for, like, the Class 70? I don't know. I don't know if they're just taking the same file and pitch bending it, you know? Uh, changing the pitch. All right, let's go like this. Why am I moving? <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Was it me or did we move? I swear we moved while that was going on. All right, it was weird. Okay. See what happens here. Let's see a little bit better. Seems to be doing okay. And I mean, it would be fun to to have multiplayer's on this, so you can do stuff like you can have somebody just having fun driving around the tracks, um, plowing everything. It would give it would give people more of a reason to do stuff cooperatively and that kind of thing. Wow. Two, three, four, five. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. 
the um, the backwards roll again. Am I on the crest of a hill? I thought we were pretty much level here. But I guess not. Because we're only at 13%. Remember, it was we were needing like 20% to, to just to get moving. I think that was those were coming up a hill or something. I'm not sure. Almost there. And then we've got eight more cars, really? It didn't it didn't look like that many, did it? Let's see. Once we get this up here. There we go. I I guess that is eight cars. Okay. So we're halfway halfway through loading up. Alright, well I'm gonna get this um I'm gonna get this loaded up. I will do a time lapse and um and then uh yeah we'll we'll drive this back up the hill and see how it goes so i will be back in just a minute okay we are back and everything's loaded up we got all the cars loaded up and the thing is empty so we should be good to go and we just need to uh, head out here and see how this thing runs. So let's refuel it too, as long as we're going this way. And I'm, I'm trying to think if we want to be facing engine first. Yeah, we want to be engine first, I think. I guess we'll need a turnaround for that, won't we? We're going to need a turnaround on the other end. So, but yeah, we're going to be going engine first on this. Um, let's go like... This forward, turn the brakes off. Let's see what happens when we turn the brakes off. Do we move it all? That doesn't look like we do. Okay. All right, we're going to go forward here. Get this thing moving. I think we're going to go some pretty decent speed here. I don't see any reason to go slow. We just saved the game, so... I just saved the game. Now's the time to <laughs> to try that, right? To see what we're gonna get. They need more distance on the view. Because this doesn't let us see very much what's going on with the plow, does it? It doesn't let us get a very good angle on the plow. Alright, we're gonna slow down just a little bit here. We'll let this let this take it easy around this corner first. Oh, that's cool! It's just all all of them, the whole thing. The whole thing is spraying. Rooster tail, giant rooster tail. Okay, that's interesting. The snow, the amount of snow that flies depends on which angle I'm looking at the snowplow. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? All right, what is our speed? Let's go like this. We're gonna use this to to drive it instead. So we're gonna go like this. Our current, yeah, that's why. Our speed is 14. Oh man. How's this gonna go? Oh, we're, we're doing breakneck speeds here, aren't we? <laughs> I get the feeling we're going to go flying off the track here. Yeah, let's get a little brakes here. Yeah, we're not even doing any... We're not even doing any uh, regulator or anything. We're still... There we go. Alright, let's get this out of the way so we can see better. 16. 18. Let's brake a little bit more before we hit this corner. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> These things wobbling around the corner. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be crazy. Let's see how this does. We're going to let this coast. We're going to let the brakes off, and we're just going to let it coast at whatever speed it wants to do around this corner. I think. And hopefully we don't get 15 here. Let's go like this. There we go. 
16, 17. All right. That's cool. Okay, we're going to give it some breaks again. I'm really hoping we actually have enough breaking power and stuff to keep this from doing insane things. Right? 16. Yeah, it looks like about 50% breaks. Seems to be enough to to do what we needed to do. Cool. And then we just need to bring this back to here. Go like this. Let it coast a little bit. Whoops. And we're going to give it some more breaks again. Because we need the... We need to basically bring this thing up to... We need to bring the tail end up. So we're going to go like this. We're going to jump out of the train. And we're going to stand back here by the switch. There we go. And we're going to watch this thing come by. That's interesting. It's not doing the thing where... Um, like it used to here. We need to start bringing this thing to a stop. We need to put our reverser on too in a minute here. But it's it used to be when you hit F1, it didn't give the window focus. So when you first hit F1, you could still move around like this. But it's not letting me do that now. It looks like the brakes are going to be enough to stop it. I don't know. Let's see. I know once we're actually stopped, we, it'll be enough to keep us stopped. But the question is, is it going to be able to stop us here? Oh, that's like perfect, isn't it? I put on the brakes at just the right time. Okay, we got the reverser on. We can start doing this. Let's go like this. All right. And yeah, let's even give it some more. There we go. Okay. So let's see if that'll hold itself in place. It looks like it's going to. Awesome. Okay, so we still need to heat up the climax, don't we? I probably should have done it before we came back, shouldn't I? Go like this. I mean we're gonna have some we're gonna have some uh, boiler pressure anyway. But we're going to hook up three of these, which is what we were doing. So we're going to hook up three. And we'll see what we can do here. Go like this. And turn off the brakes. And we're going to force the switch. Yep. And we'll go past the switch completely there we go okay so we should be able to hook this up there we go all right and then we need to take disconnect here and then we need to go forward so go like this all right and our boiler pressure is at 160 our fire temperature water temperature yeah we're <laughs> it's gonna take a bit isn't it all right so let's see if we can actually get this to move because I think we should be able to do that let's go like this. whoops don't want to do 100% with the climax <laughs> right there we go Hopefully we can get our we'll get our water temperature or our boiler pressure back up before we uh, yeah maybe water temperature is getting close. Come on, you can do it. We're losing <laughs> boiler pressure. Come on.
We're getting close to, yeah, only a few degrees and then it's going to start adding pressure to it. There we go. Alright, what's our brake pressure? Yeah, our brake pressure is good. Alright, cool. And then we're going to need to bring this all the way up to the end, as usual, and we'll see how this goes. And I think what we'll do is, in this episode, we're just going to bring one up and over, and then I will get the rest of them. This Climax is perfect for this. It's a nice little... It doesn't have to be super fast. It doesn't have to have a high top end. It just needs to get out of that. Okay. This should... There we go. Let's get this up off the off the switch. There. So see, this is to me this is more interesting than just a long haul like you know, taking just laying on the or sitting on the train watching the scenery go by. I mean, it's fun sometimes, but I think for right now it's for this route it's more interesting to like have to do all this stuff where you're paying attention. To, I mean, that's kind of the point of the game is, you know, you're playing the game, not just watching. You're not just spectating. What's it doing? Reverser. There we go. There we go. Okay. I like, I clicked off the... I clicked off of the, um, what you would call it. I think we need to. Anyway, I clicked onto the desktop. The mouse came off the screen, and I clicked on the desktop, and like a Windows uh, <laughs> menu came up, a pop up menu came up, because I was right clicking to try to turn my view. <laughs> and so that's why it, it, like, I'm trying to. I was trying to turn and I couldn't turn. Okay, and then we got to bring it back down the hill. It's going to be the fun part here. But yeah, I think this is more interesting to do... Um, to do a... Uh, 90... Yep. Yeah. To have to, uh, you know, to manage all the, the speed and your velocity. To manage your energy, it's really what it is. And it's kind of fun because... That's basically what landing a plane is too. Is it's is it's energy management. Um, you know your altitude and your and it's the same thing here. Your altitude and your speed, they're both forms of energy, and you can trade one for the other. And if you do too much at the same time, then you know, you have a problem. Right? Is this? Oh man. Ah. Uh, all right. We need to. We need to get on here. I think we need to get on here. There it is. Open controls. Current speed 24. No! Brakes! This one breaks. This one breaks. There we go. Brakes. <laughs> That's right. Okay, there we go. All right, we can turn the regulator off. Let's see what we have with 100% brakes on everything. We can close that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little insane. Okay, so we can take the brakes off on this. We'll see what happens if we just have the three. So these three are at 100%. That's actually perfect because then we can manage our we can manage our speed with the brakes on the on the climax. There we go. But yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same thing, you know, you you start if you descend too quickly then you have to stop descending at some point otherwise you slam into the ground. And if you pull up too quickly, now you've got all the speed and now if you try to maneuver with all that speed going, you get too much speed, you got overspeed problems. You're trying to maneuver too quickly. You got G forces and ripping the the structure apart. And it's kind of the same thing here, where it's like you got to worry about the the rails, you know. Um, 
you have to worry about the uh, here. You have to worry about the the thing coming off the rails because it's going too fast or whatever too. So it's a similar sort of situation. Okay, so it should be all to the right. So let's go like this. Whoops. And then go to the right. And you can do it. There we go. Because we're kind of thinking, I don't want all these too um, close to the bottom. Because then, if we do come down and we have too much speed, we have a little buffer here instead of like slamming into the next one because we ended up coming down too fast. That sort of deal. Cool. So it looks like this is going to work, and I think that's going to be it for episode 56. Join me in episode 57. We will um, probably try something new. Uh, we'll see what we can do. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is 56 and a half, and we'll get all these. We'll get all the rest of them out over the mountain and everything, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So yeah, join me in episode 57, and we'll see you then. Later.